love teaching and chatting to people while I was cooking down the line because I remember they used to take like new chefs generation coming to me as like Francesca, how do you do this? How do you do this? So I used to spend a lot of time talking to them. The head chef goes like, Francesco, we need to work now, you know. I, I love your passion, but we need to get working now. Uh, so from there, uh, they, uh, the, the Jimmy Oliver company, they asked me, Francesco, you know, you love cooking, you love talking, why you don't come to the Jimmy Oliver Cookery School, right? So I became head chef for the Jimmy Oliver Cookery School in London, um, and there is like, okay, I'm start talking to people, I'm loving this. I'm going to create this blog, this my page basically, which you can find me everywhere now on social media, uh, where I share about uh, traditional Italian food. I wanted to reach out more people as much as possible, and now social media uh, is probably the best way to do so. So that that really how it's going. But as well, um, for the love of traveling, I love traveling, and I love not just Italian food. I do love any other uh, cuisine. Uh, so. Uh, I've been traveling a lot uh, around the world as well, yeah. Hmm. We're ready. Perfect. Yeah. So you can see now what I'm doing. I'm going to take the pasta from here straight into the sauce. I'm going to bring the temperature up. And this is actually another little uh, tip for you when cooking pasta which I'm sure you probably know by now, uh, is using pasta water. The pasta water, this one in Italy is liquid gold, right? Um, this one actually is really good for your garden as well. Let it cool down, really good for the plants and everything, because there is the starch, which is really good for the plants. But anyway, this pasta water right here, it's full of starch now, okay? It's full of starch, and the starch, what, what the starch does is to transfer this to the sauce, it makes uh, the pasta even more premium. The obviously doesn't need much premium, in here, but um, that's what we do. Okay. So if your pasta sauce, for example, is looking a little bit too dry, then what do you want to use? Okay. It makes it nice and rich and creamy. Yeah. Here we are. Like good love in here. Good stir. Making sure the consistency is right. Can we have a third? Even a plastic bowl. Ah, perfect, thank you. Just gonna try it all together to make sure the pasta is perfect. Any other questions for Francesco while we're finishing up the meal here? Yep. Could you use single cream instead of double? Hmm. Single cream, yeah. Oh, it's good. Thank you. Good question. Do I have to share it? Yeah, I have to share yeah. it. Right? Yeah. I'm joking. Just I'm with joking. me, just with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, we're ready. I'm going to plate it up. I'm going to make a little bowl of pasta in here. I'm thinking to add a little bit of parmesan inside as well, because why not? Yes. Right, let's make it rain. This is our Welsh ingredient. Yes. <laughs> Yes, finish now. Thank you. Then I've done everything up. Yep. How much is too much parmesan? Because I oh, when you when you don't see any more the pasta, okay. that's, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, that's enough. That's how I do it. All right, here we are. Ready. That looks lovely. lovely. There you have your nice Saturday treat. Can you come oh. over here for a closer look? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's it looking good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna put some some extra sauce on top. I'm just gonna show to the camera now. Can I yeah. can't wait so everyone can see? Let me bring it closer. Let me bring it closer. There you are. Can you see everyone? Looking good, eh? <laughs> Very quick. How long was that? I don't That's know. How long. long was that? How long it took? When did it start? Uh, we started uh, about 20 minutes ago. Yeah. And that is a portion for... In England, probably two people. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's it. Uh, should we? Should we give it? Yeah, let's dish it out. Let's. Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm Margaret. Hello, guys. <laughs> we are in town today. It's a special day. It's called Saint David, and people usually celebrate you know, all this day in Wales. And the town is big. You like stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'll be alright now, sooner I'd be pushing a barber and then how are you going to do it? I don't know. Hmm? <laughs> I go, I go catch point up the top. Yeah. I have food made a bit right now. I'm going to go in. Yeah, look. Something in the tent. Yeah. What are you doing? Where? There, something in the tent there happening. Okay. And then something up there. Oh, the kitchen. The, the chef usually comes and make food and then. Um, we're going to have a look in the market. We're going to have a look. There might be a celebrity chef there. Should we have a look? look. Cross the kitchen. Hmm? Welcome to the kitchen. It's okay, it's for everyone. Yeah. Oh, these guys are doing I think because they think it's going to make them enormously rich. I think they're foolish. It's a fair. I think anyone who makes wine or drinks of any kind, really, they're driven by a and I feel like we've got the support That's a fantastic way to be a yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of it in Wales. We like to offer support to support sports. Uh, we won't touch on that too much. <laughs> However, yeah, so when we get involved in making things, and we've got a lot of local talented chefs as well we've had yeah. today in the past few days. Um, sorry, yes, tomorrow. Those are so usually it's celebrity chefs. It's passion for the produce. As you were talking about, that's why I brought it up at the start. We talk about you know the Welsh flavours and, and the, the spirits you've got. I've it's been a here different before. take on what we've been talking about when, uh, yesterday and what we'll be talking about tomorrow. So it's very interesting how you talk Trump, about yeah, the spirits in a different way. But it is that I think a lot of people in Wales when they do something they do with passion, they do it with love. Yeah. And I, I, it's something that we it's almost uh, almost a bit complex. We take passion in that we take passion. You know, pride in our passion. Not, not exactly. And you must. You absolutely must. And thank goodness these people do do it, because life without these things would be outrageous, it would be so boring. I love the idea of being able to go and explore, taste different things. It doesn't have to be alcohol. I do loads in the no-load space as well, and mainly just for my liver, so you've got to give it something. And, um, and that, you know, I think the, 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 the sort of the ability to go and go around the UK now, finding amazing flavours, finding producers that are making something properly exciting. Right, we've got to get these out to people, haven't we? Yeah, we're just working on that now. Look at you go, you're brilliant. Thank you so much. Right, wave your hands about wildly if you haven't had any of this. Wave your hands about wildly if you have had it, I suppose. That's absolutely fair. Whatever. I, I don't know. I'm not here to tell you what not to do. No. Mm. Very good. Oh, those of you that did have it, did you like it? Complex, isn't it? It's the thing. It, it, it definitely... You can't tell any. You've got I love it. And, um, and I think this is the most acceptable way for it to be served. Souring it is a bit of a cheat, to be honest. It makes it easy, way easier, to sour it than it is to kind of come up with um, another way of doing it. Because that texture hides a multiple, multitude of sins. But it is, it's a very, very, very good thing. Nice. I'm going to make one more as we go, just in case people need a little bit more. I live in absolute fear doing demos like this. Having said, this is the way to use a cocktail shaker. And then you, you can't have any, can you? Okay, now we're currently working on the chef. And uh, yeah. You can't have any, you're Nice, out. okay, right. If anybody needs any more, if they want enough samples, we can get together. Yes, yeah, so the chef so is actually demonstrating okay. his skills. So I've got an amazing Welsh friend. Drink and making cocktails, whatever. 
She's helped so, yeah, me with my pronunciation for some of the first mm -hmm. pieces. This didn't go very well, so let's see what happens now. Um, there's a cocktail. Um, Do you want to try one? There's a cocktail, there's two really, you know, they're kind yeah, of very classic. They've been around for about three, three and a half years. years. There's the old fashioned, there's a whiskey based cocktail, bitters, bit of sugar. Um, We've done one of those in the, we did one of those in the market. Level of alcohol. Um, there's also the Manhattan, no, no, right? which is a bourbon based oh, cocktail yeah, so with a red vermouth <laughs> in it and, and kind of stirred down. Similar kind of thing. And then do, do people drink Negronis? Do you guys like Negronis? Is that sort of thing? Yeah, Quite awesome. Popular. There you go. So like, Dark, amaro, bitter kind of spirits, and, and, and that kind of characteristic is, is definitely something that's in play. This cocktail is kind of in that wheelhouse. It's, it's called just the Suburban, some, um, which I'm meant to believe in Welsh yeah, is Mastrefol. Is that right? I think this is right. It's closer than your last one. Mastrefol. That's the thing, Mastrefol, surely. Come on. Now, um, what I've done with this? I don't think I can have it. This is a bit jazzy. <laughs> We're using Penderin, Sherry Cask, whiskey from right around the corner. Right? Awesome. We're using that in place of a bourbon. We're using a combination of two rums that have been literally distilled from molasses on Anglesey Al Al by the team over there. The same guys who make the vodka. We're using their golden rum, yeah. which is very, very lovely, but really easy drinking, makes yeah. amazing old fashions. We're also using Skerries, their dark rum, which is a similar kind of rum, it's based on molasses, it's been long fermented to get lots of flavour and then distilled, but then they add in some more molasses to give enough, it that colour and give it that sweetness and give it that texture. Oh, the way of the mixer. Finally, what we're throwing into this mix, because we needed a bit more booze, um, is we're throwing in, these guys are objective my favourite wine producers in the country, White Castle. You can't drink much, you are the most White Castle. Fortified. You're learning how to 15, mix drink, but unfortunately, I can't drink much because, as you know, and it's Ronda, I'm expecting a baby girl, a and it's just not the right time for me to have some Mentors, alcohol. As to a regular red wine, um, but then aged no in way. barrels for a really <laughs> so long time. So I won't time. be having much, um, um, except for my feeling. Brandy, fed into it to mm, no. you might pour. It's kind of in that kind of tawny port kind of style. Thing. It's really, really lovely. Mm. It's quite dry. If you find ports very, very sweet, it's a good alternative okay. to that, I would say. And, and Rob out. and Nicola over there, really yeah. lovely still white wines, really lovely sparkling wines. Yeah, and then bizarre like bits of Lucky you face. Well. The first time so what we do with this cocktail, I can show you as we go. It's a bit of fun. I quickly go on. Now, because I've been quite excited to hear more about this one, so yeah. I just sort of study your tent to be listening. Uh, you said, like, split the room. Might split the room. Now, I, I'm curious to find more about that, but before you split the room, yeah. <laughs> your recipes are being handed out, so oh, if they right. decide they don't like them, you've got them now before you can That's amazing. Them. Or this is perfect. close your socks off. Exactly. I think this is... Oh, is he? This is... My wife doesn't like this drink, and my wife doesn't like this drink He's because a my chef. wife really likes... How's it Fruity, delicious, easy drinking cocktails. That's what she's after. Every year on Sunday, the day there is a shop in here. It's so always more moodily in a leather chair. Is it? Yes, you know, like and in the market. Quietly and sort of clumsy market. Basically. It's a bit more brooding and menacing and sort of that sort of end of the spectrum. Uh, but it is also yeah, but nah, really it's delicious. Nah. And very, it's very got, you can have it. The crucial thing with these drinks, drinks when they are literally. Nothing but booze on, booze on booze on booze on booze. I've added a tiny, yeah. tiny little bit of sugar to make it easy. Hold your it's nose. dilution. You really need a little bit of dilution going on. Hold your nose. Um, and like I mentioned before, the more you stir it, the more silky, the oh. and, you know, lovely and lifted the texture becomes, and we're away. And then now I'm breathing. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that'd be lovely. Yeah, bar means crap out of the things we can both pour in the next um, Okay. Babe, hold your nose and then breathe. Yeah, it really ah, drink it. Go, 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 Two different types of rum go, go, and whiskey. Go, go, go. And literally everything grown, fermented, distilled in Wales. I think that's pretty good. So a little slow sip up. I'll show you how we make this. It's really, really straightforward. You put. The idea is really three parts of each, okay? You want one third of this drink is gonna be rum, one third of it is going to be whiskey, one third of it is going to be port, or this amazing drink, you know, uh, fortified wine uh, from White Castle. So the thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pour in, I like 20 mils of this, okay? 20 mils of the dark rum, complementing it with 10 mils of the golden rum. They do different jobs. The dark rum makes it slightly sweeter, more rich, more viscous, helps with the kind of sweetness of the overall drink. The golden rum is much more, um, is much more kind of, yeah, 
kind of pungent and rough and kind of, you know, molasses and, you know, edgy. It's fantastic. Take it off. You then want 30 oh, you know, mils. Want... Yeah. Here he goes, here he goes. Who's been drinking my fortified wine? <laughs> it looks like there's um, vodka 30 mils there. of the White um, Castle, which is absolutely beautiful. And then, crucially, 30 mils again of the Pandaren. Sherry cast, really, really lovely. Sherry finished, sherry cast finished whiskey from around the corner. You might then, if you wanted to, add a little bit of, of sweetness. In that, in that, of what you've got there, because I'm a complete cheat, I'm doing this on massive crowds, a little bit of sugar goes a long way. Um, doing, yeah, a little bit of sugar just brings out the sweetness, just a little bit to it. The crucial ingredient, and I cannot recommend enough spending 15 quid and having these at home if you're into cocktails, is one splash, literally, of Angus Jura orange bitters. These last forever. And one splash of regular Angus Jura bitters. They do different things, you know? They bring out bitterness in the drinks, but they also lift, you know, this amazing kind of umami aroma comes out of it. Oh, the it? orange is really pronounced in orangey. We've seen it before it TV. You would then throw in some ice, nice and cool. Hey, he's going to be on TV. That one, that Yeah, one? he's on TV. Nice. Not the one at the grey one. And you stir, uh, you stir, no. you stir. It's a lovely drink it's because one. you literally just build it in the glass and you stir it, stir it, stir it in the glass. I and mean, when it goes into the drink, yeah, it yeah, definitely just, it's just there. Mm -hmm. So it's a really cool thing. That, guys, is what we're calling Mouse travel. Mouse travel. Right, that's all three, that's all three cocktails, right? <laughs> that is all three. This week, my cousin in Australia has been messaging me on Facebook for over a year, and um, and I just haven't seen that at all, so that's the thing. Um, <laughs> I do Instagram, so I do. I put I lots of cocktail recipes on Instagram. Lots of wine recommendations, yeah. alcoholic yeah. recommendations, and things. I don't wish this to happen, um, right? You know, like they come in the so house, all these people, like because of the really baby. How about uh, then? I don't wish it happen, right? I wish it safe to say that the baby. They come and then you tell them that the baby is got this. There's no more baby. There's no more baby. What are they gonna do? Nice. Cocktail number two. It's, it's going to be shameful nice. for them, isn't it? Cocktail number three. Yeah. Look at this. Come on. It didn't split the room at all. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you said that about us a bit. I've just tried that one. Yeah. yeah, that's very much been wow. a strong player with a bowl sipping some sort of cocktail. Yeah. I was saying to you, so, as we were sort of setting up, I'm an old fashioned kind of guy. There you go. But, um, it's very similar to that sort of taste of it. Mm. It's story, it is, There's a fair bit of the Angostura, which is the really, yeah, that's the link. You know, yeah. and, and also a bit of whiskey and a bit of brandy. Awesome. So they're, they're in the same wheelhouse. They kind of exist there. But again, thank you very much. That was lovely. Thanks, Charles. We really appreciate that. That was absolutely fantastic. And I'm sure you've uh, walked them all up a little bit now exactly. to uh, enjoy the rest of the day. Nice. Yeah. That was absolutely fantastic. I'll Woo. share a few key points across with you in just a moment. Uh, but up next, uh, the two o'clock, we have got Rusty Lee uh, cooking for us this afternoon. And then after that, we are followed by Francesco Matana. Uh, Rusty will be kicking off in about half an hour, ladies and gents. But just as we do that, I'd like to thank today's sponsor of the whole weekend sponsors, which is First Curry. They're the main sponsor of the Coiso Festival. First Curry will soon be introducing Tap On Tap Off across their network of buses. Tap On Tap Off is the simplest, quickest, and cheapest way to travel by bus. Yeah. Head to the first bus in the UK for such Curry TLC. No, to find out more. And this event was brought to you by Sorted Council with funding from Food and Drink. And just remind you all, Coiso is Swansea's wonderful annual festival which celebrates all things Welsh and is igniting Welsh culture within the city this St. Davies Day. Well, I don't care. It's cool, it's like that. It's a special night. Yeah. Let's have a look in there. Yeah. Should we have a look? Oh, it's a shop. Oh, shop. Shop. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's a shop. I don't know where it's up here. You're not going to run. We just look around. Salami. Yeah, I got Wow. No, gosh, it's the worst thing for me. It's like. It's the market show, yeah. It's nothing up there. Are you sure? No. How about it's usually by no, the it's stairs? Not, it's, it's, it's nothing. It's all done in the lower part. Should we? 
Singing and uh, I might meet Lee Chandler and more things. Oh, the thing. Let's Look get the cool. Uh, can we get some again? Uh, in the market? Yeah. Okay. Hi, the famous ones in the market. Is it? Look, like last time we seen Lee Chandler. Oh. What yeah. else? Might be, might be something else famous there today. Yeah, it might be something else. Oh, like that, that's worse, huh? Oh, it really was, sir. Uh. And the church.